Well, hey, all you mud lovers, welcome to the Subtac Off Road Life channel. You can call me Greg Subtac or Mac, it does not matter. We're going to have a good time, anyways. This video, we're actually stepping back in time to the Spring Jam, which used to be the Jeep Jam, one or the other, something like that. One, their Jamboree Jam. Anyway, it used to be Jeep Jam and they changed it to Spring Jam. Uh, I've already done two videos on that. Uh, then recently did the Halloween event, so I went ahead and stepped in the middle of the the uh, Jeep Jam video and put in the series for the Halloween because it was much more recent. Wanted to get it out there. I'm gonna go back and finish that up, and that's what this is. I had a good time. This is also the first time I met Jesse from Rogue Legend. Is his uh, channel, and uh, we have become great friends since then. So let's see how that happened and. So let's get dirty. 4.46 p.m. So here we are at Boggs and Boulder's 2018 Spring Jam event. This is actually part three in the Spring Jam series. I just got sidetracked with some more recent events and wanted to get them posted, so I interrupted this series to get the newer stuff up. Now, this event used to be called the Jeep Jamboree event, but I guess the Jeep guys haven't been showing up in large numbers like they used to, so they changed the name of the event. Anyway, we continued on the trails that Friday until we came up on a roadblock. Basically, a mud block. People were getting stuck and backing up the trails. What's going on? You can't. They got people parked on both ways out. Hey, go try that one, man. What is it? That's a V8 stick, like a goddamn V8 motor. <laughs> what? People stuck on both sides. For those of you that know the bogs and boulders trails, this spot is found after you go under the bridge. These trails back in here are very soupy at points and constantly changing. So what you were able to ride on a few weeks ago may suck you in now. That's right. <laughs> do not do that. Four-seater like ours. I know. That was nice. That's like huge. Yeah. See, I would like that. That's way bigger. There's 36 inches tall to 29 and a half. I don't think he's going to try to go through that hole again. I think they've got that all tore up over there too. Yeah, coming back the other way. Yeah, this craft trail was rough to start, but this one was too bad. Yeah. That's the one we normally got. Yeah. But everybody's up on it right now. I didn't want to try to go this way because it was a lot bad last time we came through here. Was it? He got through it. Well, he is a little bit taller, got bigger tires on him. At this point, we decided we would turn around and find some other trails to ride.
Now earlier that day was the first time I had met Jesse, Ansley, and Jesse's dad, David. Now Jesse had been watching my videos and decided to take a trip from Florida to check out Bogs and Boulders. He recognized me while I was at the pavilion and yelled out to me. We started talking and I invited him, Ansley, and his dad to ride with the crew. They accepted and that was the start of a great friendship. They are now full-time members of the crew and considered close friends. This is how our first ride together turned out. Which way's camp? Huh? Which way's camp? This way. Y'all need to get back? Will the, will the main road take to it? We just need to go grab some stuff and then we're going to try to meet back up. Yeah, well they got to go meet someone at their camp. Our daughter's going to be back at eight, so we're all about to head that way, I think. Okay. Okay. I thought we were all heading that way and then they turned that way, so I'm trying to figure out what. Okay. Are y'all going to go for another ride tonight? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. We definitely want to make that one. Yeah. yeah I mean, we yeah, rode, we rode to 1230 right last night. Okay. Yeah, because when the kids get here, they're going to want to ride, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, Rogue Legend. As I mentioned earlier, Jesse has his own YouTube channel called Rogue Legend. Go check him out. Jesse. Ansley, David. David. They've been following us for about, what, an hour now? Yeah. 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 So what do you think so far? Pretty fun trails. Yeah. yeah. There, there was once a while I looked back and you wouldn't see and I was like, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that stop was fast. Yeah. Good. That ride up here and soft drinks. It yeah. did what? I said that ride up here and all them soft drinks. Oh yeah, I had to stop and take a leak, I get it. Jesse asked if we were going to ride again at night. Well, yeah, and you can tell by the way Coop responded with jubilant positivity that we love to ride at night and that's exactly what we did. Good uh, camera light. <laughs> the crew we all decided to take a break have a few drinks talk about stuff and we're just sitting up here at bogs and boulders in alabama in the middle of the woods Our first night ride with Jesse, Ansley, and David was enjoyable. Not much happened in the way of getting stuck in the mud or flipping rigs, but everybody had a good time. The night drew to a close and we all went to bed. 
Then, it was time for Saturday. It is Saturday morning. Bogs and Bowlers are filling up even more. There's going to be a bunch of events today. Well, not a bunch. They're going to have a treasure hunt, which I probably will not partake in, but apparently they've got like five treasure chests they're going to hide on the trails and people got to find them. And then they're going to have Jeeps going up and down that hill right there. And then they're also going to have a show and shine or something like that. And it's probably going to be like showing off built up razors and, you know, custom stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. I think we're going to do a little riding first. So this guy's been in there all night long. All night. He's just sucked in like crazy. Well, this ain't gonna happen. Looks like he's making some progress. I guess this nylon's okay, but I still don't trust it. That little uh, Outlander I got's got wire braided cable on it. Yeah, the worn, it's a worn winch. How long was you stuck there last night? Yeah. And uh, we tried to pull it out, and everybody was pretty much, there wasn't any people around, so we just had <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the end of it, huh? I don't know what we're doing. You want me to try to go up in that? Looks like I'll end up in the same spot. <laughs> up in that, huh? Let's try this. Peasy. These little high lifters are amazing little machines, aren't they? <laughs> All right, well, that was how Friday ended and Saturday started. We're just getting started for Saturday, so you're going to have to hang in there for the next video. In the meantime, please go to uh, my Facebook page, Subtech Offroad Life, and my Instagram page, uh, Subtech Offroad Life. If you haven't done this yet, go there and like and follow. Uh, I need to get those numbers up, I really do. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, man, do it. I, I could use that too. And put a like on the video. I could use all the numbers I can get, and I sure would appreciate the help. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.